Hey y'all, I'm Ashanti and this is Lovely Enough XO. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. If you're new, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I do my brows and I have done this before but I decided to refilm it because I picked up a new brow product and this is the Kiss New York Professional Top Brow Fine Precision Brow Pencil. And this brow pencil is really good. I believe this is a good dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, if I'm correct. It comes with the spoolie on one end and a really fine tipped pencil on the other that you can wind up just like that. And I tried it out um, just yesterday. I just bought this yesterday and tried it out and I was like, I'm going to film a video with this. So if you're interested in finding out how I do my brows with this pencil, then stay tuned. Okay, so to get started, I am going to be using this pencil and the spoolie on this end as well. But I do like to use my fluffy spoolie just because it's softer to me. This one is a little bit more stiff, but it does work pretty well. I've already primed my face and I've done my makeup off camera and things like that. And whenever I do my brows, I like to prime my brows with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I've done that as well. So I'm just going to take my larger spoolie brush and just brush through my brows to get them going in the direction that I would like for them to go. So I just like to brush them upwards so I can really see my um, the line underneath my brow so I can see where the hairs are going. So now I'm going to be taking the Kiss Professional Pencil and starting underneath here, I like to kind of start midways because I really like to define from here going outwards. I don't like to do too much up here. I will do a little light filling in but nothing too heavy. So I'm just going to take my pencil and just do light strokes following the direction of my hair growth. And I really, really like this. Like, as you can see, it's already doing a really good job of making short strokes and defining the hair. And then I'll just bring it down just like that. And then I'll go to the top. Do short strokes up there. And then drag it down. So now I'm going to take the spoolie on this brush. Or on this pencil rather. And just kind of go through that blending it out and then I'm going to take the pencil again I'm going to move to the front and just lightly shade it in just a tad and then sometimes I will go ahead and just make short strokes like in the down and then up position just to create those hair like strokes. And I'll take the spoolie again and do that. And that's pretty much it. And then anywhere else that you may see like sparse areas, like right here, you may kind of want to. So I'm going to go ahead and do this brow.
Okay, so that's pretty much it. If you want to keep it natural, you can definitely stop here. But I went and grabbed my concealer just so I could show you how I like to clean them up as well. And I am growing my brows out right now too. So this is the perfect time to show y'all how I do this. I'm going to be taking my LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer. This is the shade Warm Honey. So I like to just take this and um, sometimes I'll put it on a brush. This is just a BH Cosmetics flat brush like this. And I'll squeeze a little bit of my concealer out of the tube. And just get some on the brush. I like to kind of start with a little and then work my way if I need to use some more. So I kind of like to start at the front of my brow and then I'll move towards the end. So that's pretty much it for this brow tutorial. It's really simple and natural. If y'all are interested in picking up the Kiss New York Professional Top Brow Pencil, I definitely recommend it. I picked mine up from my local beauty supply store for $7.99. In comparison to the NYX one, theirs is $9.99 there at my beauty supply store. And I'm sure y'all already know about the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer, but for those who do not know, you can definitely pick up this concealer from your beauty supply store as well for $2.99. It was $2.99 at mine's, but um, really great steal for the quality of this product. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video, and I hope to see y'all soon. Bye!